What is good YouTube? Today is your boy Del Roy back on again and today we doing a nice little video of my subscribers telling me stuff that they never ever ever told their parents and I seen some of these well I seen all of these these just kind of crazy you feel me so the first one say I never told I never told my moms that I killed her friend daughter shit while they were both in the crib with her friend small whatever I guess I would assume so that's wild I feel like Everybody had those moments, you feel me? So I, when I was younger, my mom's friend, she had a daughter or whatever. And I think she used to have a crush on me or something like that. But you feel me? Back then, I wasn't really thinking like that, you feel me? I could have definitely had one moment like that. I could have upped the school. But yeah, I respect it though, you feel me? And you ain't get caught, I respect it. The next one right here is say, I had sex in my parents' bed, but I never changed the sheets. Oh! That is disgusting. Why would you do that? That is nasty. And they came home and they probably, <sighs> bro, why would you do that? Like, you just nasty now. Cause I guess, bro, I don't know, bro. I mean, you right. Cause if they would have came home and was like, oh, why did my, why did you change my sheets? It would have been really suspicious, but shit. Why you couldn't just fucking your own bed? You nasty. <laughs> the next one say, I never told him that I crashed this nigga car while I was trying to sneak use it. I'm pretty sure he took him out his foil, I would assume. But, that shit happens, bro. Just next time, you gotta be better than that, bro. You feel me? If you wanna steal the car, you gotta know how you, you feel me? You gotta know what you're doing. It's a reason they didn't let you drop. The fact that you had to sneak it is a reason that they didn't let you drop, you feel me? You gotta know what you're doing. The deck, I remember seeing this one too, son. The next one say I got a three-man train ran on me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo. That's it. That's funny. I mean, you should tell your parents that. Because I know if I was your father, I would not want to hear that. So, I mean, I don't know your relationship with your father, but if I was you, I wouldn't say shit. Why would you tell me that? Hey, bro. Different people, different standards, I guess. Next one say, I beat my shit in a bed. What is wrong with y'all your parents' bed? Like, for real though, like, is this like a fetish or something? I just, you like, yo, matter of fact, I wanna try it in my parents' bed. Like, bro, stop, please. That's disgusting, my nigga. Now when you get kids, they gonna do the same shit in your bed. You gonna be tight, but just like, Leave your parents' bed alone, bro. Especially, like, you beating your shit in your mom's bed, bro. Come on, bro. She gave birth to you and you over there on nothing on her sheets, bro. Like, <sighs> y'all niggas is crazy, so I ain't never did nothing. I'm thinking I'm about to see some, some relatable shit, but I ain't never did no shit like this before. That niggas is wild. Why do y'all keep doing this, bro? Like, it, it looks, well, I swear, bro, like, this is real people, real answers, real choices, real decisions. Why? What is wrong with y'all, bro? Like, I guess I'm not living right, you feel me? I guess I'm the one not living right. You feel me? I, I don't know. Because apparently everybody did it besides me. I guess I'm the lame, you feel me? I guess that's just the thing we do now. But I ain't never heard of nothing like that before, you feel me? Y'all niggas is crazy. The next one right here says, word to my, if you're not from New York, you're not gonna know what that means. WTMD, that means word to my dad. You know, like when somebody be like, word to my mother, you know, like I swear on my life or whatever. He's saying word to his dad. Somebody who has passed away, he swears on them that he has had sexual intercourse with his cousin. Again, like, I guess that's the wave, you feel me? I guess that's what people is doing now. I, I like, I'm speechless, bro. I hope at least, I don't know if this make it any, but I hope you was like, at least 10 years. I wish, I hope you was at least 10 or younger. Cause if you was older than 10, then you knew what you was doing and you fucking fucked up for that, bro. Cause you wild. Your cousin though, bro? 
I wonder if she was your older cousin or your younger cousin. If you if you see this, you let me know. The next one right here say a boy snuck into well she snuck the boy into her house and that nigga ate all her snacks. Listen. On my on my life. On my life. Nobody is coming into my house and eating all my snacks. And that's word two. You feel me? Like if I ain't offer you nothing, if, first of all, if I do offer you something, that's it. It's no more than one. I don't know how you eating you coming to my house eating my shit. That can never happen. So I don't know how you let that happen. Yo, bro, what is wrong with y'all, bro? This nigga said she left somebody in her house and ate all her snacks. Like can't be me. That's all I got to say. Could not be me. You feel me? I love my snacks. I'm frail, but I eat. So don't come to my house eat my shit. The fuck? You don't get fed at home? The next one right here say, I seen him fuck when I was 12. I mean, I'm pretty sure we all been through that. You feel me? That's something that's actually relatable. You feel me? I think that might be the first relatable one, and that's still some wild shit. Ah. I... Yeah. This one right here say, I never told my parents that I lost my virginity at 11 years old. There's a girl, by the way. I mean, it's nothing wrong with that, you feel me? I don't care if you lost your virginity at six years old, my nigga. I'm, you know, I don't give a fuck, you're not my daughter. But, what? I've, let me think. What grade was I in when I was 11 years old? Hold on, let me check real quick. My nigga. It says right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. It says right here, you are in the sixth grade when you are 11 years old, bro. What are you doing in the sixth grade, bro? Next question. It's about to be the final and last one right here. It says, when I was younger, I put a bead up my nose and I didn't tell my moms and I had to wait until I sneezed it out at the end of the day. I, I, I don't like know what to tell you, my nigga. Like, keep that freaky shit over there. <laughs> Yo, keep that shit over there, bro. Cause like, I mean, you, it depends, bro. Matter of fact, let me not. I don't know how old you was. You just said when you was younger. If you was over the age of 10, I don't know about you, you feel me? You was one of those niggas. But if you was younger than 10, you was, yeah. Matter of fact, I give you to seven. If you was younger than seven, you feel me? You cool. But if you older than seven, you was one of those. You feel me? And when I say one of those, you was one of those. You feel me? Like the niggas you ain't fuck, you was one of those. That's some weird shit, bro. Yeah, so that's really it. That's the end of the video, you feel me? It's a lot of y'all, like, niggas out there that's really wild. Like, some of this shit I never expected to hear, you feel me? I know y'all niggas be wildin', but y'all be ODing. That shit with y'all parents' bed and shit, bro. Shit not cool, bro. Because how would you feel if your parents was fucking on your bed, nigga? You'd be tight. Anyway, so that's the end of the video. You already know how. Like, comment, subscribe. Give me the 200. Out. Bye. Bye. Bye.